Hi, superstars. It's time for math. And we are on lesson 1 2. Counting 1, 2, and 3. I know, look at how sloppy that is. It's really hard to draw on this. Different arrangements. So that's what we're going to be talking about the numbers 1, 2, and 3. The number of objects in a set is the same regardless of their arrangement. You're going to learn to quickly name how many are in arrangements of 1, 2, and 3 without counting. A number describes how many objects are in a group. The objects can be arranged in different ways, but that number is still the same. Let's look at this bird. Let's look at this bird and this bird over here. Okay, now let's see what happens. Both of these mother birds needs to feed their babies and each baby needs one worm. So the mother birds need to be able to count their babies so that they can get enough worms. How can we count the baby birds and find out how many worms each mother bird needs? All right, let's look at Mrs. Redbird over here. Here's Mrs. Redbird. I'm just gonna put a little circle over here. So let's look at Mrs. Redbird's nest, okay? So there are two circles or counters here, and these will represent two baby birds in Mrs. Redbird's nest. So how many birds are in Mrs. Redbird's nest? Can you count them? How many are there? Look in the, look in the nest. How many birds are there? There's one and two. So how do you know there's two birds? Well, there were two circles and they were put in the nest and each circle stands for a bird. So there are two baby birds. All right, let's do this another way now. I'm going to draw these circles this way now. So now, how many birds are in Mrs. Redbird's nest? Can you count them? One and two. That is correct. How can you check your answers? Well, you first count the circles. So if I want to note that I counted it, I can either mark a line through it, one and two, so that way I know that I counted two. So there are still two birds in Mrs. Redbird's nest, right? So changing the position of those circles did not change the number. The number stayed the same. So it doesn't matter the arrangement. It's always the same number, okay? So remember that. So let's see over here. How many baby birds are in the nest? And let's do this again. But this time, we're going to go over here to blue bird's nest. And I'm going to do, can you see that? It's a little hard to see. All right, how many, how many birds does Mrs. Bluebird have? All right, let's count them together. Get another color. Here's one, two, and three. So Mrs. Bluebird has three 
and Mrs. Redbird, I'm going to draw them again, she had two. Remember, it doesn't matter which way I draw them, side by side or on top of each other, it's still the same. So what do we do over here on the sides? Do you see these squares over here? What should I do in these squares over here? Oh, I made a mess, didn't I? What should we do over here? If Mrs. Redbird had two baby birds, what are we going to do over here? How many of these squares should I color? What do you think? Should I color one? I'll color one. Does that show how many baby birds she has? One square colored in? Well, there's one. Oh, and there's two. So what do I have to do? Color in another square. And that will show that Mrs. Redbird has two babies, right? How about over here? Let's go back to Miss, Mrs. Bluebird. So here are Mrs. Bluebird's babies. How many did we say she has? Did you count them? Let's count them together. One, two, three. So what should I do over here in these boxes? What should I do? in order to represent the three babies Mrs. Bluebird has. Should I just color one box in? That would show we had how many babies for Mrs. Bluebird? That would show one. So how many more? Another one. Okay. All right, is that it? No, we need one more to show that Mrs. Bluebird had three babies, right? Okay. So the baby birds are waiting to be fed. How many worms should the moms get so that every bird gets one worm? So remember, each baby bird wants one worm. So how many worms? Over here we have two baby birds. Let's change the color of my pointer. So over here we have one, two baby birds, and two. So how many worms does mother bird need to get? One, two, so that each baby gets a worm. So two babies. It's two worms. Very good. Now let's look over here at Mrs. Bluebird. Do you remember how many babies Mrs. Bluebird had? Did you count them? One, two, three. Good job. So if Mrs. Bluebird has three babies, how many worms does she need to get so that each of her babies gets one worm each? Here's one, two, three worms. Good job. So each baby gets one worm. Three babies get three worms. Good job, superstars. Let's turn this page over. Let's look at this box over here. This one right here, let me circle it. Okay. The baby birds are waiting to be fed. How many worms does mother bird need to get so that every bird gets one worm. Three. Three is the correct number. How do you know? Well, we counted and there were three baby birds, so they need 
three worms. So let's count the birds together. One, two, three. So we counted three birds and we know that each bird gets one worm. So these counters right here represent, oh, I just, I'm, color, I'm coloring them blue. They represent each bird. So how many counters are there here? One, two, three. So there are three birds and they need three worms for these birds. All right, let's look in this box right here. All right, the baby birds moved. How many worms are needed to feed the birds? Shall we count the birds? One, two, three. So if there's three birds, how many worms do they need to, so that each of them get one worm? The correct answer is three. Good job. So there's still three birds, right? Even though they moved, the number did not change, right? It's still the same number. It doesn't matter if they moved around. So even if it looks different, the number stays the same. Let's look at the third box right here. This box over here. Okay. So the baby birds moved again. How many birds are there? Let's count them together. One, two, three baby birds, right? So do you remember? Each bird gets one worm. So how many worms is mommy bird going to need to feed her babies? Three. Very good. So can you tell by looking that there are three birds in each picture? Good job. Just by looking, you know that there are three birds. All right, let's go to this final box over here, the fourth box. How does this picture go with the baby birds? So we see this picture over here. How does it go with the baby birds? I'm just gonna circle it. What do you see here? There are three sections, right? And there are three counters. And what do those counters represent? They represent each bird. So how many are there? Let's count them. One, two, three. So this shows that there are three birds. All right, good job. Now, let's look over here and look at number one. Let's look at number one. All right, let's look at number one right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to make a circle or place a counter. A counter is just a plastic flat circle and we would place it over each bird. So I'm just going to draw in a circle. And that's a counter. There's one counter and there's two counters. So I put them over each bird as I count them. And then over here in this box right here, I am going to count how many birds I had using my counters. One, two, and then I'm going to color in the same number I counted. So how many counters did we have? We had two counters. So these represent two birds. Okay. Let's go to number two down here. 
let's put our counters on these birds. I'm going to draw my circular counters and let's count one, two, oops, that's a messy one, two, and three. So we counted three birds. What are we going to do here now? We're going to count three birds and color in our counters. One, two, three. So those three counters, they stand for those three birds. That's how we're going to show how many birds we counted. All right, now we're over here at number three. We're going to do the same thing this time, but we don't have any shaded boxes. So let's draw our counters. One, I'm going to pick a different color. One, two, three. So how many counters am I going to draw over here? Three. Good job. One, two, three. And that is how I'm showing that there are three birds. All right, last one we're going to go over together is number four. We're going to place our counters and I'm going to draw them one and two. So, how many did we count? Two birds. How are we going to show it over here? We are going to color in one, two. And that shows us how many birds we counted. Good job, boys and girls. All right. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye, superstars.